Oregon, the roads that slashed through this verdant green, mountainous stretch southeast of Portland are billiard table smooth, delicious ribbons of asphalt any enthusiast would get yourself a kick away from attacking. Another squiggly ribbon sign while using requisite low speed number warns of more curves ahead. Here we go again. Brake hard, ease off, turn in, look ahead. Get back about the gas. We're having a great time. We're from the 2018 Toyota Camry. Wait, what? Toyota's selection of roads to showcase the all new, 8th generation Camry will not be lost on me, or anybody in attendance. There's a determination from Group VP Jack Hollis on in to show that the Camry can be bit fun and flashy along with everything else it's go to represent, of course. There's good reason it's been the best-selling car in America within the last 15 years, using more than 388,000 sold this past year. The Camry has created its name on to be a well-built, reliable, affordable, and safe mid-size sedan. But when you take it easy, you also obtain a rep internet marketing boring, bland, and beige. Additionally, the sedan companies are softening considerably and also the RAV4 may overtake the Camry because the brand's best-selling vehicle the first time. The perfect time then for Toyota to shake things up a little. As you'd expect at a new generation car, the 2018 Camry can be a ground-up makeover, and yes it starts with four letters, TNGA. That's Toyota new generation architecture for your requirements. Along with the Camry would be the first Toyota to completely employ what Toyota officials call a new philosophy around the actual way it develops its vehicles. From the actual way it performs a newly developed 2.5-liter 4-cylinder and 8-speed transmission to operates constructed improved sight lines, quieter cabin, lower height and center of gravity as to what underpins it a different independent rear suspension and platform. Think Mazda Sky Active, only without all of the marketing hype. While the most recent Prius deployed portions of the emerging TNGA strategy, the Camry would be the embodiment of where Toyota is headed by it. What you aren't planning to see are turbocharged engines and all-wheel drive, two elements that happen to be increasingly being adopted by other automakers. Toyota product folks we spoke with dismissed towel wheel drive as unnecessary, and since you can get your Camry from the fuel sipping hybrid form a superb 5153 city highway inside the most frugal La trim knowing that most four-cylinder gas trims hit an extraordinary for the segment 2839 city highway, the requirement for a turbo engine in addition to to maybe boost horsepower seems superfluous. Want more power? That's exactly what the 3.5 liter V6 with 301 horsepower and 267 lbft is designed for 2233 city highway in XLE trim. What you are likely to see though are two distinct looks for that Camry, especially in the beginning. Dominating the head of the degree models is really a blacked out. 7 slatted grille along the lines from the full-size Toyota Avalon and perhaps a high-tech razor, only much wider and with no chrome trim. Zend XSE trims feature a sportier, hourglass shape harking back to modern Lexus vehicles, simply with less hour for the glass. Both versions feature subtle creases for the hood, a shaped snout centered from the Toyota logo that dip into each lower grille area and trapezoidal headlamps that adventure into the front fender LEDs are standard with the rear and at top on most trims. At the side, the dominating feature can be a sharp character line that bisects the threshold handles. Out back, the defining features in the Zend XSE are twin tailpipes at intervals of end that frame a diffuser look we can easily do minus the black trim piece at either side in the rear bumper. However the color kite sills really are a slick touch, as the rest on the trims have a more restrained, traditional looking rear bumper and single tailpipe setup at each and every end. 
and the very first time, 19-inch rims are offered on select trims. A Lanal, as it no doubt be more expensive time and effort, both the looks offer more choice with the buyer. Don't expect performance changes though to search along with all the appearance differences. Other than the most obvious power pump the V6 offers which about 10% of Camry buyers have traditionally selected, the overwhelming tastes customers will gravitate toward a model powered because of the updated 2.5-liter 4-cylinder with 203 horsepower and 184 lb-ft of torque, 25 more horses and 14 more lb-ft than before, hooked up to your new 8-speed automatic. Depending on trim level, paddle shifters, along with an economical sport button choice is available. We spent the majority of our time out within the Oregon roads in several iterations on the top trim XLE model while using new Dynamic Force 4. Dynamic isn't the first word that comes to mind once you put your foot towards the floor, though direct injection in Toyota's variable valve timing. It can an ample job of motivating the Camry. The XLE is rated by Toyota at 3,351 pounds. We're guessing it hits 60 miles per hour coming from a stop log on a tick or two over 8 seconds. Like most four cylinders, it doesn't exactly emit a sonic symphony under hard acceleration, nonetheless, it isn't too thrashy, either. The new 8-speed automatic kicks down with authority when asked and shifts smoothly and easily in each and every other situation. Press the activity button and, as you'd expect, shift points change and feel a smidge more aggressive. Speaking of sport modes, the revolutionary Camry Hybrid has one should you pick the right model, along with this A even has paddle shifters to lend the CVT design for a 6-speed automatic. Yes, you watch that right, paddle shifters. At 208 total system horsepower, the hybrid deploys a comparable version with the new 2.5-liter 4, detuned to 176 horsepower and 163 lb-ft, working together with the electric motor to further improve power under hard excel and optimize MPG in low-stress situations. Additionally. The car battery pack continues to be repositioned to underneath the rear seat from your trunk villa's battery is lithium-ion plus the sand XLE nick helmetal hydride thanks to your new TNGA architecture improvements. The system's power control unit is optimized to cut back energy loss and was repackaged at the same time, making an effort to lower the hood height. In fact, the Toyota folks we spoke with said the hybrid's new packaging will help make it a bit more dynamically balanced as opposed to gas models. Indeed, from the tight bends and sweeping curves, the hybrid proved relatively fun to push. Yes, you watch that right again, fun. Kinda, sorta. And paddle shifters. Of course. A great deal of that has to do with all this stronger structure as well as the Camry's new platform. In addition, the McPherson strut front suspension and new double wishbone rear, with anterior bars back and front further aid the reason. Let's be clear, this really is no sport sedan, nonetheless it's no wallowing beast either. We hustled it harder than probably 99% of Camry owners ever will and it also almost never felt from its element. The electric steering firms up quickly into turns, the brakes 12.0 inches in the front, 11.1 for the rear bite down adequately when required. We tried seeking some roads to upset the suspension, but there was clearly nothing but glass fault about the roots. We found a number of bumps, yet not enough to actually gauge what sort of car would roll over rough stuff. Given its stiffer, sportier feel, we suspect it'll be a little harsher compared to the previous car. The only time we felt the limit from the suspension inside the twisty stuff was inside six-cylinder car while attacking the path at higher speeds. We were inside a unicorn Camry XSE while using 19-inch wheels, 
V6, painted black roof option, and hot red interior trim that has a panoramic sunroof. Of course, the 3.5 liter V6 definitely makes the car notably quicker than either with the other models. Turn off the traction control, and you can find the front wheels spinning pretty fiercely. While the cockpit red interior popped some eyes, the quantity models is going to be across the ash and black spectrum primarily, although there's a beige, ahem, macadamia option, with multiple interior trim finishes with grain, mesh, metal and seating options, from fabric, to soft X to leather. Every model I was in stood a pleasing, diverse color and trim combination that has been far through the cold gray or black wall of yesteryear with lots of soft touch surfaces throughout. While the seats felt a bit stiff for the tastes in advance, these people were attractive and relatively supportive, plus the rears fold down inside a 6040 split. Dominating the front with the cabin may be the Camry's new scurved center stack and console design that houses the newest generation of Toyota's Intune system having a 7 or 8 inch screen along with other vital interior controls. Apple CarPlay or Android Auto aren't available, but Intune includes a solid lineup of apps including Pandora, Facebook, and Scout GPS, that permits for turn turn directions in non-navigation equipped models. Step up for the 800 watt JBL equipped speakers and you won't be disappointed. It'll blow your ears out, in the good way. Other features include the 4 or 7 inch info screen within the middle with the instrument panel, vastly improved leader controls, 3 USB ports, as well as an available, 10 inch head up display. It's a motorist-centric arrangement which makes some things harder with the passenger gain access to like the quantity controls and front cubby, but overall, the setup is comparatively easy to get accustomed to and operate. From a safety perspective, all Camry models now come standard with Toyota Safety Sense Suite which has more nannies than the usual Beverly Hills Elementary School car park waiting at 2 p.m. Standard features include lane departure pre-collision with pedestrian detection, blind spot assist, adaptive cruise control and 10 airbags. Depending on trim, you may get blind spot monitoring with rear cross traffic alert, a power parking brake, and round view camera system, along with a sonar system that detects objects approaching from top and behind in low speed situations and works having a rear cross traffic braking mechanism to alert the driving force and can slow the auto if necessary. So what is going to this all new camry -ness cost you? It all depends upon how you spec out, certainly. The simplistic Camry L starts at $24,380, but you'd be pushed to find anyone buying that car. The sporty look but lower line same model is $26,085, the well-equipped XLE starts at $29,335, along with the top from the line XSE V6 rings in at $35,835. The cheapest Camry Hybrid L is $28,685, together with the top spec XLE Hybrid $4,450 more. If you can't find what you're in search of in this SP watch of models, together with the two distinct exterior trims, V6 and Hybrid, etc., you're not looking tough enough okay, what about V6 using a true sport tuned suspension will make sense sooner or later. We all know Toyota's NASCAR star Kyle Busch would approve. The new Camry is undoubtedly improved through the board, offers more versatility previously, and it is even slightly fun not so beige anymore, a lot more like macadamia. 2018 Toyota Camry XLE Specifications July 2017 Price $29,335 base. Engine. 2.5 liters Dock 16 valve I4203 HP at 6,600 revolutions per minute, 
184 lbft at 5000 revolutions per minute. Transmission 8 speed automatic. Layout 4 door, 5 passenger, front engine, FWD sedan. EPA mileage 2839 miles per gallon city hui. LXWXH 192.1 by 72.4 by 56.9 inches, wheelbase 111.2 inches, weight 3,351 pounds, 060 miles per hour, 8.2 seconds estate Top speed 129 miles per hour estate Thank you.